Oh, happy Easter. Easter is coming on Sunday. And don't you just love the spirit of the resurrection season? I think it reminds us of the new life that we have in Christ. It reminds us that Christ rose again from the dead and therefore we are alive. That's why Paul said in 1 Corinthians 15, you know, if Christ didn't rise again from the dead, we have no hope. We of all men are to be the most pitied. But he told Mary and Martha in John chapter 11, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even when he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me, he says, will never die. You know, why is that so important to us? It's so important to us, and Easter grabs our attention so much, is because it reminds us that we are alive, that Christ rose again from the dead, and when we believe in him, we are granted eternal life. And right now, if you know Christ as your savior, you are eternally alive, and even though your body dies, you will live forever and forever. You know, that's why I think we celebrate this season and we hang on to it. And it's so meaningful to us because it reminds us that everything we believe is real. Our hope is genuine and the eternity is ours because of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You know, I asked myself, well, if that's the case, then how do I live as a resurrected person? How do I live in light of what Christ has done for me? Well, I heard uh, Eugene Peterson say one time, it begins with a, a no and a yes. The big no is I have to repent regularly of what I do wrong and say, and to repent means to turn, to turn from my old ways and to follow him. And so the big yes is to follow. No, repent, yes is follow. And as you come upon this Easter season, ask yourself, what is the big no in your life? And what is the big yes in your life? No. What do you need to repent of and to change and say, God, this season, I'm going to stop doing that. And then what is the yes? Lord, how am I going to follow you more faithfully, more diligently, more obedient to be the person that you have made me to be alive forevermore? Oh, my friends, Easter is here. Be an Easter person. Be a resurrection person. And ask God to use these days to draw you closer in a fresh way to him.